We all knew at six, the Pennsylvania database is now online. It's tracked disciplined police officers, so departments are aware of their professional history. Channel 11's Aaron Martin joins us live. And Aaron, this is still a controversial topic, though, around the country. The first major piece of police reform following the murder of George Floyd is now in place in Pennsylvania. We believe that this database will save lives. Today, a new database went live requiring police departments statewide to share misconduct and disciplinary records of officers they're considering hiring. During a news conference in the Strip District, Attorney General John Shapiro called it a down payment on police reform. They should not be allowed to go from department to department, and misconduct records need to follow those officers. Among those pushing for the change is Michelle Kenny, the mother of Antoine Rose. The 17 year old was killed in 2018 by an East Pittsburgh police officer who had several incidents of alleged misconduct at a previous job. We will no longer have to worry about an officer being relocated into your neighborhood when you know that he took a life in the neighborhood next to yours. I grew up in the neighborhoods that Antoine grew up in the Mon Valley. I'm a black man who walked those same streets and who, quite frankly, just for pure luck, didn't end up in that situation. It's a change that also has the support of Pittsburgh Police Chief Scott Schubert, who says he will now have a fuller picture before hiring a new officer. There's no chief that's frustrate, frustrated more uh, than when somebody retires before you can terminate them. And the, the lack of being able to share information with other police departments for fear of liability. This takes that all off the table. Now Shapiro says he's hopeful this is just a first step in police reform that is more comprehensive throughout the state of Pennsylvania. However, that decision will be in the hands of state legislators in Harrisburg. David and Lisa.